Oh, hi there. I was just out for a stroll in the deep, dark woods of Russia and thought, you know what? It's a great day to go visit my favorite babushka. Oh, there she is. That there is Baba Yaga. She has been part of Slavic folklore for centuries, as well as a threat used by parents to make their children behave. She's known as the mean, scary, and hideous witch that lives deep in the woods. Normally witches travel by broom, but Baba Yaga travels by mortar and pestle. She also has this neat broom which erases all of her tracks. And if you think that's cool, wait until you see how extra her house is. Izbushka, Izbushka. It's back to the forest. It's front to Baba Yaga. Isn't that awesome? Some say that she lives here because people seek her wisdom. But whenever she answers a question, it takes a year off of her life. Other people say it's so nobody will ever find her after she takes another victim. <laughs> Are we having tea, Baboya? Is it true that you sleep on the oven and your nose touches the ceiling when you lie down? Baba Yaga has many different stories. Some of them actually very similar to fairy tales that we already know. And no, John Wick does not count, unfortunately. I'll give you the short version of one of the most popular ones, Vasilisa the Beautiful. This story is about a young, beautiful girl named Vasilisa, and how she lives with her horrible stepmother and stepsisters. They're always cruel to her and give her an impossible amount of chores to do. Huh, this sounds familiar. Vasilisa is told to find more candlelight and is forced into the woods where she encounters the witch herself. Baba Yaga tells her that she will get her more light if she can complete even more impossible chores. If not, she will be cooked and eaten. But thanks to Vasilisa's enchanted doll and three mysterious horseback riders, she completes the chores and brings home more light, which then proceeds to incinerate her horrible family. And she lived happily ever after. I love stories with a happy but questionable ending. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about my Babulia, aka Baba Yaga. I wouldn't recommend visiting her unless you want impossible chores, wisdom for a price, or the possibility of being eaten. Anyway, if you'd like me to cover any other scary grannies or specific folklore, feel free to leave a comment. Also, if you're feeling a little generous, then maybe consider supporting the show on Patreon. Until the next creepy crawly. Yeah.